can you compare like your career before and after the Do It To release? Like, uh, how was going your career before the track and after the track, like on World Tour and the shows around the world? It's it was a huge difference. I feel like uh, right before Do It To It, I wasn't you know doing much. I was just at home, you know, just making music, just normal life stuff. You know, you know, Do It To It came out in my life you know, just catapulted into another yeah. stratosphere. You know, I, I felt like uh, everything that I wanted to do happened in one year. It was so fast, you know, like I yeah. started traveling the world, doing all these festivals, uh, just all these shows and uh, everything has just moved so fast. Uh, yeah. But I'm having a lot of fun. Like jumping stages, going to the main stage yeah. for the first time. Yeah. And how is your relationship with the Brazilian fans like? It's not your first time in Brazil. Brazilian fans are, are amazing. Uh, most most of my DMs on on Instagram are are, are Brazilian. Are Brazilian? Fans. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, the last time I was here, we we, we went to uh, São Paulo, uh, Buzos, and uh, Porto Belo. So it was yeah. it was it was really good. We had a, we had a good run of shows. Um, but yeah, they're amazing fans, man. They they love the music, so it's. Uh, I, I, like I energetic you dance floor and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Making a hit is not so easy as we think or we we need to protest and think and uh, don't have a rule. And how was your process of making do it to it? Like when it started the idea and like you said, there's there's no there's no um, this is the way to make a hit. You know, it just it happens. Don't have a rule. You know? Yeah, there's no rules. Uh, when I was making do it to it, it was just a normal day. You know, I have like a sh certain way I get up and I just. I like to experiment and find different stuff, stuff that's, you know, whatever, whatever's on YouTube, you know, I'm looking around. Yeah. That day I just happened to, you know, hear uh, somebody on Instagram, they used that song and I was like, man, this would sound crazy. So I just, I made the original demo in like an hour, an hour and a half and that was it. You know, it was just a normal day. Nothing crazy. Like, uh, <laughs> I'm used that you want to try on the dance floor or anything like that. And when you hit it that on the dance floor was a different answer. For yeah, the it was funny because we, we played it um, on New Year's of 2021. And it was my first time playing it. And um, like we, the reaction we got was just crazy. Everyone was screaming, you know, and then I saw the videos the next day. People were like kind of singing this the song already. Yeah. So we knew, like, oh man, this might be a big record. Yeah, yeah. You know? It was so. only a demo. Yeah. And how do you see the growth of Tech House on the on the industry of the music? Like, uh, do you do it get on on radios and on the mainstream and other events? Like, I think it's cool, like, to know that that Tech House is is growing, but it's 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 also just a it's a new form or it's a form of music from the old days. Like tech house was considered just regular house music back in the day. Now it's considered tech house, so it's like it's uh it's it's cool to see like the old elements of, of house music in the new era of, of of music now. I think it's it's great though. You know, it's it's cool to see like you know there's artists like Drake and Beyonce like doing house music now. Yeah. It's crazy. You know, yeah. I think that's that's what you know this this genre needs, and it's. Uh, you know, even do it to it being, uh, I feel like a huge inspiration to most most people. It's funny because I get into a studio now, everyone can say, "Oh, let's make do it," you know, another do it to it. But yeah. it's, it's not as easy as people think it is. You know, like it's now, now you're you are the reference to the other artists, <laughs> yeah. like big artists that you want to remix or anything like that. Now you are the reference for them. Yeah, it's cool. I've met a lot of people even during like uh, my time in Europe. I've met a lot of European DJs. They've all said like, "Oh man, you inspired us," and it's it's cool to see all these big DJs saying that because you know they inspired me at one time. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's it's nice to see the tech house music you know evolving into, you know, either the commercial realm or even now, you know, it's 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 pretty big now, yeah. which is cool.